You can hang it. It's got a it's got a little hole at the top. It's a little hanging sign. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Welcome to this week's episode of Walkthrough Wednesday. Uh, we really appreciate you watching our series and having a lot of fun with it. I want to start off with uh, my friend Flat Richard here. Uh, we just got this in. It's a metal hanging sign and we're actually giving this away. Uh, so this is this week's giveaway. To win, to enter to win this sign, all you need to do is share this video, tag Petty's Garage on Facebook and hashtag Flat Richard. And that'll get you entered to win the first Flat Richard hanging sign. If you like these, let us know. We're looking at maybe ordering a bunch and selling them on our website, and we'd be happy to do so. So if you want to see more Flat Richard, let us know in the comments below. Moving on to the car that you see right behind me. Uh, this is a first for us. We're actually consigning this car, so it is for sale. Uh, so if you're interested, you know, contact us. You see it's got a 2.9 Whipple under the hood. Uh, all work was done here at Petty's Garage. Uh, some custom vinyl stripes. It's a 50th anniversary edition. Get a good shot of that. You see 50 years in the seat there. Really nice black leather interior. Convertible, obviously. Uh, this is race red, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Does that have plug exhaust on it? Magna flow exhaust? Yep. Get down on that. interested uh, go see us at petties-garage.com or you can call the number below and we'll be happy to hook you up with a nice 2015 Whipple supercharged Mustang uh, by Petty. So let's move on in here. 2018 Camaro SS that we're building for a customer of ours. Uh, I want to show you guys something really trick that we've done inside here. Full custom uh, roll cage that we've built to put in this car. And we're taking all the measurements, got the template, so if you're interested in putting a roll cage in your Gen 6 Camaro, uh, we're ready and willing to do it. So, really cool, really sturdy setup. Should stiffen the car up a lot and certainly help uh, with safety if anything were to go wrong. All hand fabricated by the guys in our fabrication shop. Powder coated or painted? Painted. Painted. Mm -hmm. Painted black. Yep. So, it's always cool when we have one of the old race cars here on the lift. This is a 72, 72 Dodge Charger driven by the King. And uh, it's actually getting ready to go overseas over to Goodwood for the Festival of Speed in England. Uh, Big in here is getting it all tuned up, ready to go. Big in, what are you working on at the moment? At the moment, just massaging the battery box to fit the new style battery. Uh, went through all the brakes, all the fuel system. The fuel system had a pretty big kink in it. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's pretty much it. So this is battery box right here? Yeah. Yeah. Put the new Odyssey battery in it. And we had the other style battery right there in the, in the bottom of the patient. Yeah. Just went through it and checked it all out. I heard it running earlier. So you got it running, right? Yeah, it'll run now. Yeah. So you'll see this car uh, running up the hill at Goodwood Festival Speed here. I don't know when it is. Pretty it's cool. sometime in July. Sometime in July. So, uh, and Charlie Luck, Richard's son-in-law, will be the one behind the wheel, right? Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Megan. Yeah, Appreciate no it. Yeah, so Gary's working on the exhaust. You see we've got cutouts ready to go in. This is a 20, 2016 SRT 6.4. Uh, well, actually started life as a 6.4. It's now a 448, yeah. uh, which I don't know if you can quite see from this angle, but we built that in our engine shop. Uh, front sway bar. Let's get some of this rear goodness back here. Got, correct me if I'm wrong, Petty's Garage coilover kit. Coilover kit. Uh, rear sway bar. Strut tower uh, rear bar, strut tower front bar. Front and rear strut bars, yep. And this car is actually going on power tour. So we told you about Tony's Mustang last week. Getting ready for power tour. Mm -hmm. Magna Flow, uh, mufflers here. Pretty sweet build. So yeah, this will be on power tour. Uh, so be on the lookout uh, two weeks from now, actually. I'll be there. Will behind the camera, he'll be there. Uh, can't wait to see everybody that's going to be out of power tour. 
Check that out. How cool is that? Real deal car from the movie Days of Thunder. Driven by Tom Cruise himself. Maybe, I don't know. But it is really the car from the movie. Um, just got this in. Not exactly sure what, what the plan for it is yet, but I hear it comes from our friends Diesel Brothers out there at Sparks Motors in Utah. So uh, we appreciate you guys sending it out to us. Uh, check it out right there on the midst of Bondo. Mr. Cole Trickle himself. How cool was that? Show us the rig. Show us the rig. Load Want to see the rig? Yeah. I want to take a second to thank everybody that helps make our mobile tour possible. Uh, really can't do it without Continental Model Odyssey, Performance Plus. Everybody that, that comes on board to take Petty's Garage nationwide. Uh, couldn't thank them enough for their support. <laughs> Flag's coming down. Flag! You alright, bud? How you doing? I got on that light diesel boy. Man, I ain't doing no work. Just play. Now, what's the point of that, Will? Just show everybody that we had fun. Oh. You think I'm doing a good job? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Making progress on the bumper? A little, yeah, a little bit. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I sweat before for Brian. <laughs> so got, Brian is custom fabbing a bumper for a 70 Chevelle and Tony who's sweeping the floor. Yep. So uh, everybody knows their place around here. Uh, we all have a place. We all have a place. Most of my job's underneath the car here, so we, we tag team this thing anyway. So if somebody have a good job, somebody got to be bad, today's my bad day. Today's <laughs> Tony's bad day. Yeah. So if you look, see we, we looked at maybe utilizing the stock bumper, but it was a little twisted up, bent it up, just not what we were looking for. So thankfully we've got guys like Tony and Brian, they can start from scratch, uh, map it out, and, and build an entire bumper from scratch. So Brian's actually only been on this for like two days and it's almost done. That's kind of crazy. Uh, so really looking forward to seeing how he progresses on this. Supercharger on it. It's going to be 700 horsepower, uh, more of a street truck style. So Dakota is actually working on getting the truck lower to the ground. Uh, that's with the lease frames here, I see. Yeah. Where are you guys going, Dakota? Uh, right now, I'm just getting all the back. So they take the lead valve and put it on there. Okay. Simple enough, right? Yeah. In theory. In theory, yeah. So we'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this truck. Uh, like I said last week, this is really the first uh, lowered two-wheel drive supercharged truck that we've done. So, Dakota's taking leaves out and it should be really cool. What you working on, bitch? Working on some power uh, amp runner boards. Yeah? Heck yeah. Making some cool stuff here. I love those amp sets, man. Yeah, they're nice. Really cool. Makes the truck look a little bit higher. Gives a little bit of pizzazz. Right, because they, they don't hang down. down. Yeah. When they come down. So Dakota's over there working on lowering the truck. And and you're over up. here going, going up. up. Yeah. Check out these Falcon shocks we got. Our friends at Terraflex hook us up with these. Really, really nice piece. Uh, the magnet flow, of course, coming out in front of the rear tire. Kind of hot rod. Uh, we like that. It goes right below that rock proof liner that we're famous for on these trucks. So, thank you, Mitch. I just want to take a minute to appreciate the reflections in the fresh black paint on our 63 Polara project and it hasn't even been wet sanded and buffed yet. This is, this is out of the paint booth. It looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look at 
That looks awesome. It's all BASF RM finish paint. Really slick. So this will go get wet sanded and buffed. Um, possibly re-cleared and buffed again. And it's just gonna be smooth as glass when it's all said and done. But it looks amazing right now, just fresh out of the paint booth. What do we have here? Hey, hey brother. Hey, hey Russ. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. For everybody that doesn't know, this is Russ Cell Fox. Hey guys, uh, how are you? Garage CEO. And we're here with his 66 Ford truck. 66 F100, custom cab, uh, fully restored, did it restoration, top to bottom, stem to stern. Original 352 cubic inch engine, 208 horsepower. Have a good look at that. And I uh, did add some power brakes to it and power steering just to give it a little bit more comfort factor. Put the Ford right. engine blue. Full engine, all, all done. All done. Even got the original uh, uh, Rotunda gold filter on it. Really? filter on it. So, where's that at? Will, let me take a look at that. Trying to uh, Check out. keep it as close to original as it, as it came from the factory. Uh, three speed on the column. I know some of you younger fans out there won't have a clue what that means, but uh, I know what it means. I us just old don't know how timers, to us old timers have to do it. But nice little uh, '66 short bed. I love this emblem right here. That's super cool. So we redid the interior. Yeah, let's take a look at the inside. We kept uh, a lot of it original. We actually we kept the original centerpiece F100 out of the original seat and put it in with the new reupholstered seats there. What's do you know the uh, the official name for the color combo? Red and white. Probably. Red and white. Red and white. <laughs> so, thought I'd ask. Yeah. I always love the, the embossed corner across the bed like that. You see, they're all coming back to this style now. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So, just a nice old custom truck. And uh, with this one here, we do a lot of hot rods and muscle cars and performance cars, but decided to keep this one here pretty close to original and uh, yeah. came out really nice. Awesome. Well, can we take it for a ride? Absolutely. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll let you drive, but I'm not sure if you know how to handle the free speed. So that's it for this episode of Walkthrough Wednesday. We appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more updates uh, every day. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.